welcome to a new episode of five minutes with Cyril and I want to talk today about SIFT. What is SIFT? SIFT stands for the scale invariant feature transform and it's a way for describing a local area in an image and describing it through a so-called feature vector. So in computer vision or photogrammetry or robotics we are often interested in reducing the image content and reducing it to a set of locally distinct points together with the description of that locally distinct point. So that the whole image content is reduced to a set of points. And those points we want to find again in other images if those images were picturing the same scene, maybe from a different viewpoint. So um, we can illustrate this with a small example. Consider we have this image here of Venice and we have a locally distinct point, for example, sitting here on a chimney, just as an example. What we can do is we can say we have this locally distinct point, how should we actually describe it? And we can do so by taking the local neighborhood, so a local patch around that key point into account and using the intensity values or maybe the changes in intensity values, so the gradients in this local area in order to describe it and turn it into a descriptor vector. So it's important to distinguish the key point from the descriptor vector. The key point is a point in the image and the descriptor is a vector which describes the local surrounding around that point. And if we have multiple images where we find the same key, point, uh, key points through the feature descriptors, we can actually make data associations between those images. And this is an important task whenever we want to do geometric reconstruction tasks, for example. So whenever we want to solve um, bundle adjustment or computing visual odometry, making stereo correspondences, running visual slam, a bag of words approach, loop closing, a large number of different algorithms require features extracted from images and that the subsequent algorithms only work with those features in an image. And we have to distinguish here the computation of the key point and the computation of the descriptor vector. So how does it work? The locally distinct point, so the key point, is found using a difference of Gaussian approach. That means you take your image and you blur that image with a Gaussian blur at different magnitudes. So of an image which has a slightly blurred and an image which is more blurred and so on and so forth. And then you subtract those images from each other. So you basically get a difference of images with different levels of Gaussian blur. And then you stack those difference images on top of each other and you're basically looking for extreme points. So points where all the neighbors in the XY image space as well as in the space of um, different levels of um, smoothing which are locally distinct, which stand out and those are your key points. You typically don't do that only for one image resolution, you also perform this of an image pyramid, that means images which are differently scaled in size in order to find uh, key points that also are distinct with respect to scale changes. So if, you have a, if you're closer to an object, um, you will still find the same key points as if you're further away. So this is about the key point. The next step is to compute the descriptor vector. And you do that by looking into the local neighborhood of the key point that you find. And what you're doing is you're basically taking the local neighborhood and breaking it down in kind of into small areas and compute the gradients in, this, in these small areas. You use gradients because those gradients are typically rather robust with respect to illumination changes, also with certain um, viewpoint changes. So what you do, you basically compute all those um, gradients and then collect gradients in local regions into histograms. So how often do certain gradients occur? What's their magnitude? You just turn that into histograms for small local regions. And in the end, around the key point, in a uh, 4 by 4 region, you compute histograms, so 4 times 4, 16 histograms. Every histogram is discretized in a 45 degree orientation, that means it has 8 bins, and this gives you 128 values. You're basically just concatenating this 128 values, and this gives you your descriptor vector. And this is kind of the SIF descriptor that we are using in order to describe the local key point. I hope that gave you an idea what a SIF feature is when we refer to it as a way for computing the key points using the difference of Gaussian approach and then taking the gradients in the local neighborhood into account in order to compute a descriptor vector that can be used to describe or identify the key point. 
I hope that was useful. Thank you very much for your attention.